and welcome back into Victoria's Tarot. So in this video, we are going to take a look into the Lacey Peterson case, but from Lacey's point of view. I see what happened between you and Scott the last time you saw him. What happened between you and Scott the last time you saw him? The death card. We have the two of pentacles in the reverse, which tells us about disorganized, out of balance, things being out of balance. I don't know if this is finances, two people being out of balance, maybe he knocked her out of balance, who knows? Ten of swords in the upright tells us about that ultimate betrayal. Queen of Swords, there she is again with that direct communication. The star, hope, renewal, healing. So maybe she told him something like, I'm, I need to get away from you. I need to start over. I need to heal from whatever the argument was about. Which was something being revealed. The world in the upright, this talks about something being complete. The emperor in the reverse tells us about someone being controlling and someone being a bully. So I feel like when it comes to this being disorganized, I feel like she felt like this was it. The cycle was done. She was closing it. She was leaving. The moon in the reverse talks about unveiling secrets, releasing fear. The sun in the reverse, the sadness, the being over optimistic. They both had that. They both had that. So this could also be about the baby boy. Maybe he didn't want this son. There's an ultimate betrayal and sadness there. A revealing secret. A secret got out. One way or the other, a secret got out. Ten of Cups. I believe we saw that in the last reading too. This is a struggling relationship again within the family dynamic. Mm, the other woman. This is the other woman. She's not that far away. She's close by. Social butterfly. Center of attention, attractive, ace of swords, and there goes our truth being revealed. So I don't know if this woman told Lacey about her and Scott or if Scott told Lacey about her and Scott, but somehow the cat got out of the bag the last time she saw Scott. There's this other woman that's causing a struggle on their relationship. And it got revealed. Four of Swords in the reverse. This talks about recovery and danger or burnt out energy. Nine of Swords in the upright talks about the anxiety, the worry, the fears. This came on Scott's energy the last time. And this is the last time she saw him. So the energy is matching up quite well for someone who said he didn't do anything to her. <laughs> So she felt like she was in danger. Seven of Cups in the reverse talks about being overwhelmed or poor choices. Is that how she feels about this Queen of Wands? Scott made a poor choice. Page of Cups talks about bad news. Somebody being immature. I feel like she's taking a dig at this other woman. The Chariot in the upright tells us about being determined. Being in control or a vehicle and travel. Six of swords in the reverse. 
So that's my unfinished business card. Determined. So I feel like once this truth was revealed, Lacey was determined to like start anew, forget about Scott. But Scott was just like, oh, not with the bag, if you get me. So that's what I have. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. Repressed emotion, self-love, or being selfish. That's the overall energy of the last time she saw Scott, right? So that's what I have. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video.